Minnesota Vikings free safety Madhu Williams made a special visit to the University of Maryland. And with the opening of an addition to the university named in his honor, hopefully it won't be the last. Williams, UMD President Dan Moe, and School of Public Health Dean Robert Gold gathered for a news conference to celebrate the creation of the Madhu Williams Center for Global Health Initiatives. And with a $2 million endowment from Williams, the center will focus on health needs in Prince George's County and Sierra Leone. A former Maryland athlete graduated in 2003 with a degree in family science. You know, there are a lot of things that a 28-year-old can do with their money. Uh, and so, uh, Madhu Williams, needless to say, is not your average 28-year-old. Williams is also not your average Maryland graduate. He's the youngest alum to make a gift to the university. The endowment is also the largest gift given by a professional athlete who played for Maryland. Born in Freetown, Sierra Leone, Williams moved to the U.S. with his family when he was nine, settling in Atlanta, Maryland. He says this center is a way to improve the health and education in the community where he grew up. Uh, of, often time I've been asked why Prince George's County, Sierra Leone. Well, uh, the border of Prince George's County it's not very dissimilar to Sierra Leone on health issues as well as education. The same issues exist right here under our nose. In an interview, Williams says building the center wasn't just a way to improve conditions in both places, but also a way to connect to his roots. That was very important to me, to make sure that I'm able to reach back to the past um, in Prince George's County um, and also Sierra Leone, where I was born. Uh, those two places have a very special place in my heart, and I, w and I wanted to make sure that um, I'm always have, uh, a, a, I can leave a footprint or some type of legacy behind in those two places. Before a country known for its troubled history, Sierra Leone's U.S. Ambassador Bakari Stevens says the center won't just be a legacy for the African nation, but also a way to give the country's image a much needed facelift. Another thing which I think I want to tell to thank Madhu for is that uh, he's trying to rebrand the image of our country. For many Americans, when you say Sierra Leone, what you know about is blood diamonds. Blood diamond was not made in Sierra Leone. It was made somewhere else in Africa. But of course, all what is predicted there is true. It did happen in my country. But we've gone beyond that, and Sierra Leone is now open for business. The School of Public Health plans to use the upcoming year for evaluation before setting an official open date for the center. This is Shauna Stewart for UMD News.